Hi children, welcome back in our online English classes. Dear student, I hope you all are fine and enjoying watching videos. Keep watching our videos regularly and study regularly. Students, in your previous videos, we have learned assessment one. Okay, so we have solved that. Before that, we learned the lesson remote control key and uh, all the story we have learned after that we have solved all the question answers regarding the lesson some grammatical part was also we have solved there after that we have solved assessment one and this was on the basis of uh, chapter one to seven okay so all the lesson were uh, covered in that uh, assessment and we have solved that also students we have solved different type of question answers were there and uh, some questions were on uh, uh, regarding the passage was given okay so now students today we have to start our uh, next topic so after this page number 83 we have to solve 84 page number and that is our next lesson our bones okay so students actually this one is also science lesson but uh, in language study means in our english language this lesson we have to learn today okay maybe before this we have learned this by your science teacher in science class but once again we will revise it here okay so let's see what is given here in the this eighth lesson you also open your books you can also see in your books otherwise you can see on the screen also so this is a lesson our bones okay so students basic things we have learned about bones that bones give shape to our body okay Bo bones are uh, hard part in our body okay so they have joints and all these things so let's see what is given here in this lesson uh, so we can see on the screen one skeleton is given here okay this one means this is one uh, complete uh, structure of the human body is given here with the bones and this side at the your uh, right side one hand bones are shown okay uh, so let's start with starter kit one well, starter kit is given here at the beginning only in your textbook you can see uh, so in starter kit first question is there choose the right word for each blank okay what you have to do you have to choose right word for each blank students four words are given there and one small paragraph is uh, there downside and you have to fill these four words on at the proper place to complete this paragraph okay so let's read first i will read these four words first word is your bones second word shapeless third one is brittle and fourth one is glass now let's read the paragraph bones like glass are dash dash but while broken dash dash can be mended broken dash dash can't be mended without bones our body would be a dash dash slump so in this way four blank spaces are given here so let's complete this paragraph okay uh, students I won't write here I will just uh, mark words I will give them numbers so easily you can understand which blank space is where okay which word should be where I will give them numbers this is I will give here one number two bones this is one this is second one okay this one is second shapeless uh, this brittle word is third one and this is fourth one glass okay now i will write in the blank space just number only but in textbook you have to write the correct word only. okay now let's see bones like glass are dash dash so how bones and glass are the comparison is given here bones and glass so how they are similar what adjective we can use for both bones and glass so students we can use here brittle okay so in the first blank place you have to write here brittle i will write number three means you have to write brittle only okay so what is mean by brittle brittle means easily breakable okay we can break it easily so that is known as brittle as glass okay if glass fall down from our hands it will drop 
in the same way bones are also brittle okay but while broken now dash dash can be mended so mended means fix or repair to fix or to repair so what can we repair broken dash dash means here we have to write broken glass can be mended if glass broken we can repair it okay we can use another glass at that place broken dash dash can't be mended so which thing is there shapeless or bones yes broken bones can't be mended but once if our bones broke can we mend it no we can't mend it okay so without bones our body would be a shapeless slum means it won't be any uh, shape so that is known as shapeless without shape okay so second body should be here now in this way we have finished this start record activity now get set uh, let's start our lesson I will read this for you. Students, you can also read with me by looking at your screen or you can look at the textbook also. Students here at the right side, we can see one picture is given here. Uh, school is there, okay? And the ground is there, school ground. And some children are playing on the ground. Some are hanging to this uh, hanging bar or we can say it at uh, climbing bars, okay? But one girl is fall down here and she hurt her hand. So let's see what happens. These two boys are running, rushing to help the girl. Now let's see. Nadia loved playing on the monkey bars. So students, this game is known as monkey bar. These bars are, we can call it as climbing bar also. Monkey bar is given here, so no problem. We will call it monkey bars. Nadia loved playing on the monkey bars during the recess period. One day she was going up the bars, she slipped and fell down. So Nadia is one girl and she is fond of to play on monkey bars. She loved to play on monkey bars. So where, when she played this? During the recess. So recess means interval or we can say it our sport period. Okay, recess period. So one day she was going up the bars and she slipped and fell down. So as regular as usual, she was playing on the bars while climbing up. She fell down, slipped and fell down. So student monkey bar is given here. So this is, we know what is this? A series of bars on fixed posts on which children can play and climb up. Uh, climb and jump like monkeys. So that's why it is given monkey bar. Okay. Now, students, on the page number 85, uh, let's read it. Oh, my arm hurts, cried Nadia. So, when Nadia fell down on the ground, she cried, Oh, my arm hurts. You know, arm means what? Arm means uh, hand, okay? Hurts. The other children at once ran to tell Nadia's class teacher, the teacher became worried and rang up Nadia's parents. So students, as usual, if we will be there at the place of friend, we also would do the same uh, thing. What would we do? We may, we may go to the teacher to tell about Nadia. So other children at once ran to tell Nadia's class teacher. They went to the class teacher and the teacher became worried. After listening, what happened? Teacher was very worried. Uh, she was thinking maybe it is very hurting to Nadia. So that's why she rang up Nadia's parents. So students here rang up means what? She called. Okay, she ring to parent means she called to parents. Okay. Nadia's father came in his car and looked and took Nadia to hospital. Okay. So uh, then when teacher told all things, so Nadia's father came in in his car and took Nadia to hospital so let's see what happened then the doctor took an x-ray of nadia's arm my child your arm is broken said the doctor he showed nadia the x-ray of her arm and nadia could see the broken bone so students you know in this lesson in this paragraph what is given here it is showed here x-ray okay we know what is x-ray maybe you may have broken your 
um, arm or your bone sometime. Okay, maybe anyone else will be there in your class. So who had broken uh, uh, bones? Okay, so what happened when broke our bones? So we uh, after when we go to the orthopedics or the doctor, he first of all he took the X-ray. And in X-ray, we can see one picture of our bone, and we can easily find out where our broken is. Uh, bone is broken or fractured. Okay. So same way, doctor took an X-ray of Nadia's arm because it was hurting. So by looking upside only, we can't decide what happened. So doctor said, "My child, your arm is broken. Okay, your arm is broken. So." He showed Nadia the X-ray of her arm, so it was a proof. We can see where our bone is broken or not. So he showed the X-ray. So Nadia could see the broken bone, so that's why Nadia also can see the bone. Next paragraph. The doctor put a plaster cast on Nadia's arm. It will get better in few days, said the doctor. The broken ends will join together again. Then your mended arm will be as strong as it ever.